All right, in this video, we're going to be analyzing Georgetown University School of Medicine secondary essay prompts. So Georgetown is one of just three medical schools in Washington, D.C. and consistently places near the top 50 on national ranking lists. That reputation definitely shows in its acceptance rate of a little under 3%. So something unique about the structure of their MD program is that they start incorporating clinical experiences into their curriculum in the spring of the second year. They also have this interesting program that they call Longitudinal Academic Tracks, which basically curates a bunch of extracurricular opportunities uniquely tailored to each student's areas of interest or intended specialty. So for example, they have tracks for environmental health and medicine or literature and medicine, health justice, bioethics, etc. So before we take a look at the prompts, just a quick reminder that our secondary series here on YouTube uh, covers each of the six main secondary prompt categories in depth. And those are a great resource if you're looking for even more insights on how to approach the writing process. Also, don't forget to check out our secondary essay library, which has sample essays for each of these Georgetown prompts, as well as for every other prompt required by U.S. and Canadian med schools. We have over a thousand essays altogether over there. Okay, let's jump into the first prompt for Georgetown. So we'll be looking at the 24, 25 prompts, but if they change in future admission cycles, we'll update the resources on our site. So the first prompt reads, the Georgetown University School of Medicine strives to ensure that its students become respectful physicians with cultural humility who embrace all dimensions of caring for the whole person. With our Jesuit values of cura personalis, people for others, and community diversity, we are steadfast in our commitment to racial justice and to addressing the health inequities exacerbated by the recent pandemic. Please describe how your perspectives, values, and individual life experiences will contribute to these GUSOM priorities. You have 1,000 characters to respond. So this is a pretty typical variation of a diversity essay prompt, but it also really invites you to incorporate some why us essay elements into your response. They start out by telling you all about who they are as an institution, and then they ask you to reciprocate by telling them who you are and how your unique characteristics will contribute to their priorities. So the adcom wants to know what makes you you, but you should go beyond just introducing yourself. So take a look at the values that they emphasize in the prompt. Respect, cultural humility, care for the whole person, diversity, racial justice, and health inequity advocacy. And then think of a story from your own life where you were acting on one or ideally more than one of those values. Once you've told your story, go ahead and give them one or more concrete examples of what those values will look like in action when you're a MET student at Georgetown. For example, what are some clubs or research opportunities you plan to get involved in and what impact do you aim to make through them? Uh, one thing to be aware of is that the third prompt, which we'll get to in a moment, is also a variation of a why us essay. Uh, but whereas prompt one focuses on what you can do for Georgetown, prompt three focuses more on what Georgetown can do for you and your future career. So spend some time thinking about how you want to divide up the details you mentioned in each essay in order to make sure that there isn't too much overlap. Together, the two essays should sort of function as two halves uh, of a whole that demonstrate your fit for Georgetown. Okay. So prompt two is a pretty standard additional information essay. It reads, is there any further information that you would like the committee on admissions to be aware of when reviewing your file that you are not able to notate in another section of this or the AMCAS application? You'll also have 1000 characters for this one. So it's technically an optional prompt, but we strongly recommend answering it, even if you think you have nothing more to add. So research uh, you've published, awards you've received, or other big accomplishments are, of course, worth mentioning here if you haven't had a chance to elaborate on them yet. But you should also feel free to write about less obvious experiences that you still think are a significant part of your story. For example, uh, you might have had a really interesting interaction with a patient or coworker recently, or you might have a hobby that isn't directly related to medicine, yet you feel it's a big part of what makes you you. So if you're struggling to come up with material for this essay, we suggest bar, you know browsing through the prompts for some of the other schools on your list and picking out one that would give you a chance to show a side of yourself that you haven't been able to show anywhere else uh, in Georgetown's application. So moving on to the third and final prompt, uh, it reads, why have you chosen to apply to the Georgetown University School of Medicine? And how do you think your education at Georgetown will prepare you to become a physician for the future? You have 3,000 characters for this essay. So like we mentioned a bit ago, uh, you can think of this one as the other half of your why us essay. So the main thing to note here is that whereas prompt one focused on what you have to offer Georgetown, prompt three focuses on what you believe they can offer you. 
So this is where you'll want to describe specific aspects of their clinical and research opportunities, as well as their curriculum uh, that align with your interests and career plans. And since you're allowed more characters with this essay, you might also want to mention aspects of the surrounding DC community that feel like a good fit for you as well. So even if you're still open to exploring your options in medical school, think of this essay as your way of showing the admissions committee that you know how to create a roadmap for your four years at Georgetown. It's a good idea to mention specific courses and research opportunities that are closely related to your interests, especially the ones that you wouldn't be able to find at other schools on your list. So another example of a topic you may want to explore here is the longitudinal academic tracks that we mentioned earlier. You might spend a paragraph or two describing which track seems to be the best fit for you and what you hope to achieve through the extracurricular experiences it provides. Then describe how you envision yourself using those uniquely Georgetown opportunities as stepping stones toward the medical career you have your sights set on. Okay, that's all for Georgetown. Uh, so we hope this is helpful as you work through your Georgetown secondary app. Uh, and if you're in search of sample essays for these prompts or sample essays for every prompt required by every med school in the US and Canada, check out our secondary essay premium example hub. We've got over 1000 essays in total. All right, take care.